boy, finally, I won't have to rewrite my game again. All systems are great. Oi, dum dum. Yes? Game looks like crap. It looks like a Rust clone for a Samsung S3 Mini. Remake it in HDRP. <laughs> Hello there, it is I, Zapguy. Remember this game? You probably don't. When I was making these videos, I had like, I don't know, 20 subscribers and made the videos just in case it becomes popular. And, well, I don't know what I was thinking, but this ain't it, chief. Now, surprisingly, this hasn't been the version of Generations I've been working on. I'm currently working on a video to explain the brief history of Generations, but in detail. If you just want to see the games, here's the video on the top right, just watch that. Generation Steam is the latest version. The code is very good, it's very optimized, and it's honestly the furthest I've come in a Generations version. It just does not look as good as I wanted to, and I don't think it deserves anyone's hard-earned money at this point. Now that we have that out of the way, let's start over for the seventh time! Woohoo! Now, I have a lot of things planned, so let's start by going over the tasks. Let's start with player movement. I always use a basic player controller, so let's just implement that. Alright, good, now we can move around. Also, for the people wondering, no, I did not make these assets myself. The houses and tools are from HQ Survival Pack by Polymind Games. The nature is Meadow Environment Dynamic Nature by Nature Manufacture. Now, I have to port the game from the old version to the new version. It cannot be that much, right? Konnichiwa. The Elder Shibe. Why are you here? Kore wo kansei saseru. Koto ga dekiru to omaimasu Anta wa baka desu. <laughs> so, uh, let's start with the items and chopping down trees. I will now add an axe and a tree. Okay, now it's time to chop down the trees. Wait, 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 wait. No, in the game, in the game, in the game, in the game. So, I will shoot a ray cast from the camera to the tree. If it hits the tree, I will create a decal and I will lower the tree's health. And if the tree's health is zero, I will kill the tree. Let me show you. So, as you can see, we have a tree. I will move. Bam, 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 bam. And the tree falls. And congratulations. It's done. I don't know, Zyab guy. This kind of looks like Rust with the chopping. Too similar. <laughs> Now that we can chop down the trees, we need an inventory. Now obviously I'm gonna spare you the details of the most boring and mundane task of all time, but for the nerds among us, here is a condensed version. Did you catch all that? Me neither. Let me show you the inventory system. Okay, you can switch between items as you can see. I have this weird developer pickaxe and stuff. And yeah, when I open it up, I can drag stuff around. I can right-click to, well, empty half of it. I can dra drag stuff around, I can add stuff. Just the stuff I mentioned before. And yeah. So, where are we in relation to our checklist from before? We have added player movement, we have added tree chopping, we have added an inventory. Ah, we have my personal favorite. 
Well, let me explain what this means. The things I have to port from the old version are building, crafting, gathering items, aka getting wood from trees, saving, loading, modding, multiplayer. Now, many of these need its own video, but before I add all those features, I want to port over the map from the last version. And it's quite literally as simple as dragging and dropping the terrain data. That I, I, uh, well, uh, it, it needs a few tweaks. And after a few minutes of replacing textures, materials, and assets, it looks just like the old map. Just way, way better. Of course, I will make the graphics look a million times better than this. But for now, I can call these graphics the minimum viable graphics. I quickly want to talk about what this whole game is. Basically, Generations is a survival game set in the Stone Age, where you play as yourself. Your main goal is to survive, but also to sustain by farming, hunting, mining, and some other cool ways. I first started making this game using Game Maker in 2016. It was called Island back then. However, I obviously knew that the game I had in mind was way too ambitious for my skill level back then. But I truly believe that I am skilled enough as a game developer to make it right now. Well, what is next? I have some plans that I think will be really cool, however before I can do anything like that I will have to implement everything from the old version to this version. That alone will take me a few weeks. Until then I won't add any new features. I also want to quickly talk about multiplayer. This is a game that obviously needs multiplayer. Now multiplayer in its simplest form is syncing of clients to other clients. So basically when you move other people see you move and etc. It sounds like a very simple thing, however, there's so many moving parts that honestly make it horrible to implement. I know I didn't get much done in this video, but I wanted to first see what people think about me doing devlogs. I hope to make more progress in the next video, however, you will just have to wait and see. Also, I really wanted to get a Steam page ready for this video, however, I didn't have the time to update the screenshots and make a new trailer. Making trailers is very hard. So expect that for the next video about this game. The game will be paid, but it will be priced very modestly. Well then, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it and it really feels good to be finally back. Almost every aspect that made making videos a burden is gone now, and I am again free to work on videos as I please. This is just the beginning and definitely not the end. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any ideas or feedback, leave it in the comments below. I read every comment. And until the next video, Saipkai out.